So, Sergio Perez. Once again, another difficult weekend, a DNF. He definitely didn't look happy about it. I mean, watching him go off on lap one being hit and kind of getting a bit of airtime as well. At your home race, of course, I mean, it would be a little bit heartbreaking. Especially given the season he has had, it has been a little bit difficult. He has been the subject of a lot of criticism. So, I mean, yes, he definitely was quite emotional. In fact, it did look like, you know, he was tearing up a little bit in the garage. But this situation, I mean, it's not looking very good. I think a lot of people started talking when Daniel Ricciardo outqualified Checo. And I mean, the margin was quite small, but still, he was outqualified by a guy who's just come back from an injury, hasn't even been in the sport for the whole season, and he's in an Alpha Tauri, so obviously not a great look for Sergio Perez. Once again, those questions are going to be asked, you know, will Daniel Ricciardo replace him in that second Red Bull seat? I mean, is that the plan? Has that been the plan all along for bringing Ricciardo back? Is that the motivation? But it is all just so depressing, and I'll tell you why. Sergio Perez, when he came into the sport, I think was a very exciting future guy. I think a lot of people were uh, waiting for him to get that shot at a top team. I think Ferrari was even an option at one point. I remember he was heavily linked with Ferrari, but he eventually got his drive with McLaren, but he wasn't quite at McLaren at the best time. Not when McLaren were as strong as they once were. Similar to, I mean, Kevin Magnussen. Got a podium, yes, but it wasn't that same McLaren where we saw, you know, Hamilton and Button or the year that Alonso was there. They missed that window, whether it be they weren't in the sport at the time or, you know, right team, wrong time, just a bit unlucky. But I think a lot of people saw Sergio Perez before he joined Red Bull as a guy that really never got that proper chance at a top team. Many compliments towards his way of managing a race, managing tyres. Excellent with tire management. One of his biggest strengths, I think, was just being able to uh, keep the tires in good nick for a long extended period of time, often outrunning many other people, giving him an advantage towards the end of the race and something, you know, he is still good at. And when he went to Red Bull, we thought, you know, this is great. He finally got that drive. All the hard work paid off. We saw uh, the stint at Racing Point slash Force India, the team he was very loyal to for many years. And when it was looking like he lost his seat, Red Bull came and they just took him. They took that opportunity. They needed a solid second driver. And you know what? It worked out really well. Now, I don't know if it's a loss in confidence or he's not getting to grips with this Verstappen orientated car. Sergio Perez doesn't seem to be the Sergio Perez that we knew or we had when he first came to Red Bull because I don't think there were many issues. I don't think there was much to really complain about, but I feel like we've seen a bit of a substantial drop off, which seems a little bit out of character because he's never been shockingly bad or shockingly inconsistent. I feel like he's always been a decent performer and now he is open to probably more criticism than anyone else in the sport right now. And that probably has a lot to do with the fact that his teammate is Max Verstappen and the fact that he is driving arguably one of, if not the most dominant F1 cars ever built. So obviously the critics are gonna be on your back very quickly, very hard. There's not really any room for you to hide Look, I know Red Bull have backed Sergio Perez. Christian Horner has come out uh, numerous times and, you know, put his confidence in him and backed him, but it is just hard to see them keeping him. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm very used to seeing Red Bull drop their drivers. I think we all are, and we feel like it's always imminent when a driver has a bad season or a bad string of performances. But now Sergio Perez looks like he could lose P2 in the championship to Lewis Hamilton. Now I think that would be a huge sort of blow to Perez and I think that would be, I mean, not only not a good look, but I really don't think it would be almost acceptable in a way only because that Red Bull is so far ahead that there shouldn't even be a battle for P2 with Perez. There shouldn't even be a question of can Hamilton or someone else score P2. And it is looking right now like Hamilton could take that. Now the point difference isn't too far. And if we look at Sergio Perez and his last five races, I mean, it's really 
not great. You know, considering the car, it all goes back to the car, unfortunately. I mean, it has to. It all goes back to that machine and what he's driving and that those performances, those results, I mean, it's just not good enough. Sure, you know, retiring in Mexico, not exactly 100% just a bad performance from him, you know, a bit of bad luck. But if we look at Japan, for example, just a bit of a stinker. Now, I guess Sergio Perez is still in a good position. There are three races left. We go to Brazil, Las Vegas, and then Abu Dhabi, and then the season's done. All Perez needs to do is kind of show up and, I mean, a few podiums a p2 a p3 hopefully hamilton doesn't outscore you i mean perez could still secure p2 but i think that if hamilton takes that from him i mean that's going to be something a lot of people are going to talk about and i think it will be held against him as you know that argument like he's driving one of the most dominant cars of all time look at where max finished look how many points max scored and then perez finished behind hamilton i think it would be something a lot of people would bring up a lot of the time. I don't think F1 fans would let Perez fans forget that. I think they would give him a hard time about it because, hey, honestly, it wouldn't be good enough. So the situation is a little bit of a letdown if you're a Checo fan. I mean, it would be very, very frustrating, but I want to hear from you. What will this situation bring us in the future? Can you see Red Bull possibly dropping Perez. We know teams and team principals make a lot of promises, but a lot of the time they don't mean much. Please let me know. I'm really interested to hear what you think. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribed. And as always, I truly appreciate your support and I will see you in the next one.